Okay, so today I want to show you how to set up a smart light and connect it to this router here. Now this router I'm showing you here is the new Talk Talk uh, Super Router. It's a decent router, it's okay. Now the problem is with most new routers is that they tend to have 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and the light will only connect to 2.4 gigahertz. They won't connect to 5, they just won't work. So sometimes what happens is when you're trying to set up a smart light, um, it tries to auto connect to the five gigahertz and therefore it won't work and you think it's useless. So I'm gonna show you today how to get around that and make sure your smart light connect to 2.4 gigahertz. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to get the IP address. The IP address, you can get it through a search engine, just type in your router and uh, IP address. So it could be a BT or Total or Virgin router, an IP address, and you should find it in your search engine. But it's also, don't panic, it's also on the back of the router, so you should have no problems. So I've now logged into the page here <clears throat> with the IP address, and it's asking me to log in. And just down here, if you can see it there, make sure that's gonna focus for you. Okay, you can see that on the back of the router, just here, you've got uh, your username and password. Don't try and put in the network name or the network password, it won't work. It has to be the router IP address there, which you've put into the search. Then you put the router username, which is normally admin, if you haven't changed it, and the router password, which whatever it is, and that's on the back of your router. So I'll just log into this now, and I'll get back to you when I've logged in. Okay, so it's logged in, and as you can see here, you've got the dashboard, uh, and it's all in there. So what you want to do is click on internet settings. It might be something different in yours, but it's normally internet settings. You just click on that and it tells you to come in speed and then it says manage advanced settings. Now it's important when you're in advanced settings that you don't touch anything that you're not sure of because you could mess it up, okay? So down the bottom here, it tells me uh, what's connected uh, to the router on 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz just here. So you can see I got three Amazon devices connected to five gigahertz and these devices connected to the 2.4 gigahertz. Now, these, uh, these ESPs are all my lights. And what I'm gonna do today is connect another light up to a lamp just to show you how to do it. So the first thing that you do is disable your 5G. So you go into the settings tab And again, don't um, change anything in here. All you wanna do is just turn it off. Just keep it all the same here, okay? Turn it off. So that's off now, and then click apply. And that's done. So I can leave that where it is now, and now I want to set up so the smart light. This lamp, I've taken the shade off, just so it's easy to see what I'm doing. And I'm going to take this bulb out, this LED bulb, and put a smart bulb in there. Uh, and I've got this smart bulb, um, very hard, just let it focus for you so you can see it. Okay, and I believe it's called an Anoop Psych. Uh, very strange name, I bought these on Amazon. And the good thing about these is, unlike the um, Philips Hue, you don't need a hub. So they'll just work straight, they'll connect straight to your, um, your smart speakers. Okay, another issue I've got is that, can you see this is a bayonet end, okay? So you've got, this is a bayonet. Um, and obviously, the pot and the lamp is a small Edison screw. But not to worry, as you can get an adapter so there's the adapter here. Okay, and this will just plug straight in and there's uh, the adapter for the bayonet to go in there, okay? So I'm just gonna take this bulb out. Pop the adapter in. and then pop the bulb in. And that's all fine there. 
Let's adjust the screen so you can see it's gone a bit higher. Okay, now you have to go on the, the app for the lights. So I'll get it for you now. Just turn the light on. Okay, and it's on. So on the app, just turn this light off here. On the app, you see it'll be a plus here in the corner. Uh, obviously it might be different if you use a different smart light. And it's got lighting. And it's got uh, lighting Wi-Fi. Okay, and it's saying to you there, you need to turn the power on and off three times. On, off, on, off, on. Okay, so I'll just do that now and it's just start blinking. Okay, started blinking now. And on here, it says confirm the indicator is rapidly blinking. Okay, so you just blink it there, confirm. And if you can see there on that screen just before, uh, it's, it get a tick by the 2.4 gigahertz and a cross, a red cross by the five gigahertz. Okay, it's gonna take a while to load, so I'll come back to you in okay, a few minutes. So it says it's done, it's paired successfully. Okay, I wanna edit that name there. there. Okay, so I'm going to rename it um, Kitchen Lamp. Save that. And then it asked me what room I want it in. It's in the kitchen. Amazon, uh, so my Amazon speakers just detected it as well. Uh, and that's, it's already auto-loaded on that. And I just say done. And it's, asking, it's saying I've got a firmware, new firmware found. So I need to upgrade that now, okay? Bear with me a second. Okay, so it's all set up. Just press that and it comes on. Press that and it goes off. And these amps are pretty cool, but you can have, you can just press the white there. You can turn the brightness up and down. So I can get it brighter. And I can dim it, okay? I can also set the color temperature. So you can have it either sort of, uh, a darker colour or a more blue, okay. But I'll kick it back to that colour. Quite a nice colour that. Okay, and then set the, the brightness on there as well. Okay, so that's that. And it should also work with my uh, Amazon Echo. I'll just test that now. Turn off kitchen lamp. Turn on kitchen lamp. And that's the good thing about a lot of these smart speakers. It auto detected that lamp was, was on, on the system and it, it just loaded it up itself. I didn't have to do anything. But sometimes you do have to go into the apps and add a device. But this time I didn't have to. Okay, the last thing you have to do is to log back in uh, to your router's IP address and turn on the 5 gigahertz now and it should still work. So I'll just with me and I'll just get into that and I'll show you what to do. Okay so I've logged back in uh, to my router's um, IP address and again just go to the, to the dashboard there click on internet settings you scroll down here manage advanced settings and I can't stress enough don't touch anything you're not sure of in there okay you could mess up your Wi-Fi and so down here now as you can see they're all connected to 2.4 which will probably overload it now a little bit and it might not work very well. So I need to turn the 5G back on. So just here, click on the settings tab. I'm just gonna turn it back on. And then I'm going to apply, continue, and that's done. If I go home now, just come back around here, can't reach my thumb. Now what it should do now, as you can see, nothing's connected it at the moment, connected to it at the moment. But what the router will do, or the, the devices, they'll automatically uh, will start connecting back to five gigahertz. Let's see if they've done it. 
so my phone is already connected back to it and so will all my other devices eventually it may take a few minutes just my phone at the moment but um, it does connect back up so that's how you work around it and to get your smart lights working okay thanks for watching and I'll see you soon